I'm recording. I'm not doing this. You are doing it. No. I'm not. Okay, so we're gonna have a challenge race. These things are disgusting. Of who can eat a fruit by like, foot. If you like this, comment in the bottom. The if fastest. You like these are these awesome. things. If you don't like it and you're on my side, please comment below because these they're disgusting. What's the rules to the game. Okay, the rules to the game are that you have to put the end of it in your mouth. And then you've got to eat the whole thing without touching it with your hands. That's disgusting. He's like, you have to say go. No, I'm not kidding. Yours are already in your mouth, you hobo. Cheating, Peterson. One, two, three. Well, you're using your hands. <laughs> you're cheating. Fuck it. Restart. You cheated. Mom cheated. Okay, cut two. Willie, do not cheat. We're gonna have to put it in our mouth and then hold our hands up when Lisa has to say go. Cause you're a cheater. Yeah, true. Yeah, okay, go Sorry, ahead. Sorry Paula, I love you with all my heart. You never cheated. <laughs> go ahead. Other than that playing monopoly. Are okay, just don't, How much don't, you put don't, in? No, just a bit. All right, one, two, three. What's up, Accelerate? I'm Pastor Willie. And I'm Pastor Courtney, and we're the student pastors here at Mountain Movers Church. We're so glad that you guys joined us tonight. And this next three weeks are going to be awesome. We're talking about being organic and, and the simple fact of like, how can we truly have a relationship with God in this circumstance that is absolutely and utterly ridiculous. So this <laughs> week, we are, we are kicking it off with the very beginning, which is Roots. And what, what's going on with Ruth, Pastor? So when we look around right now, it's spring, so everything is coming to life. All the leaves are coming out. And so we see all of this pretty, the pretty parts of plants. And when we looked at it months ago, um, during the winter when it was cold and the wind was harsh, it almost looked like these things were dead, but something was sustaining them and it was their roots. And so today we would just want to visit with you about what it means to sustain yourself in maybe the hard seasons of life. Yeah. And what, what are your roots in? Like we need to evaluate as believers, like am I, am I putting my roots down in something that's going to be able to sustain me even when yeah. things um, are hard or even when situations are not ideal? Absolutely. Uh, the key topic for just today is simple this, and I'm going to read it just so I don't mess it up, <laughs> is circumstances can be difficult, but if you determine to bury your roots into Jesus and grow, God will shatter your circumstances by the depth that he will produce in you. That leads us to our first point of the night, which is this. You can only grow as high as your roots are deep. You want to talk about that? So um, a lot of times we're in circumstances that maybe like like right now are less than ideal. Some of you started homeschooling basically this week. Um, some of you are trying to figure out credits and you know how all of that's going to work out. And so things are not ideal the way that 
things are rolling out now. And so we have to really determine how we're going to handle this, how we're going to handle all this extra time that we have at home, how we're going to handle the pressure of all of these changes. And so figuring out where we're going to put our roots down and where we're going to find that strength and encouragement during this time is vital. So it reminds me of a tree. Man, when the tree's planted and, and there's a circumstance around it, or let's be real, a rock that's near it, man, and, and it can't find water, it will do anything right. in its ability to destroy that rock or to split that rock to find good soil or good water, that, which is fantastic. Which reminds me of Daniel in the Bible. And Daniel was simply a teenager that was pulled away from home. Right. Put into a circumstance that, well, it didn't look like he could grow in his relationship with God, but he made a point to make God number one in his life to a point that the whole, man, the whole country decided not to pray to God. But he said, you know what? My relationship with God above all circumstance right. is so important. And so he decided, I'm going to worship and pray to God, which got him thrown into a lion's den. In, in the middle of that circumstance, like, it looked dark, it looked rough, um, but because his roots were so deep in the Word of God and in his relationship with God, man, that's when you, you saw it, and his relationship with God, bam, the lion's mouths were shut, he was saved, and not only that, but because of his roots, that king then told the whole country there is only one God, right. and that was the God of Daniel. Um, so in your circumstances, just like a tree, like it may suck, it may be hard, but if you find time to put God and allow God to build that root base inside your life, that, that, that plant base, um, it may be hard, but just like a tree, you will bust through the hard moments, mm -hmm. you will bust through a rock, and, and you, we, you will find life uh, through Jesus. Right, that energy and encouragement that you need. And so, um, in Romans 8.28, it says, God works all things out for the good of those that love Him. I mean, Daniel showed that he loved God. He made God and his relationship with God a priority. And God worked things out for Daniel. He didn't have to stress and worry about them. God's hand was in that whole situation. He yeah. coordinated things to work out in Daniel's favor because Daniel rooted himself in God and in the things that he knew of God and the promises that he stood on to know that God was not going to let him down. Uh, the point number two was the greatest dreams grow from the hardest circumstances. Even when we have really, really hard things going on in our lives, even when we have situations that are less than ideal, some of the biggest dreams come out of hard situations. You know, Absolutely. I mean, God was able to take Daniel and raise him up, you know, into a high standing in that country. But if you wouldn't have gone through the hard time, if you wouldn't have been in the lion's den, then God wouldn't have been able to do that because he wouldn't have been able to show himself real to the whole nation and so sometimes we're going to be in hard situations but god never said that it would always be easy but he did say that he wasn't going to leave us when it got hard yeah. and so we have to remember that and again i, I like the picture uh, of a tree splitting a rock wide open um, for the simplicity of and when you when you see that tree you see something that is Fragile, you can just take a chainsaw, you can cut it down. Um, you don't look at a tree and say, I'm going to use this tree to break that rock. But instead, because of every day, a tree doesn't bust a rock in a day, but every day it inches a little bit more forward. It inches a little bit more forward. A little more pressure. It has a dream to get to water. Mm -hmm. It has a dream to get to good soil. And every day it inches, every day it gets a little bit closer. Every day we, we put God number one. It may not seem fantastic at the moment, but every day right. we put him forward. That hard situation, it has to crack. Right. It has to break. Um, go yeah. In, in 2 Corinthians 4, 8, 9, it says, We are pressed on every side by troubles. There are going to be times in your life where you're pressed on every side by troubles. Yeah. Okay, but it says, but we are not crushed. We are confused at times, but we're not going to worry about it. 
We are hunted down, but never abandoned by God. We get knocked down, but we are not destroyed. We're going to find that water source if we keep digging for God, if we keep pushing through, if we keep standing on the promises that we know that we found in God's word, and we keep trusting in God. Like, I don't know how it's going to work, God. I don't know, and I don't understand this whole situation, but you do. And I trust you, and I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah. And, and resting in that and, and having that peace of realizing, like this verse says, we're going to be pressed on every side. God yeah. knew this was going to happen. Like you can expect that there are going to be times that are going to be high pressure. But it also says we are not crushed, we are not destroyed, and we are not abandoned by God. Those three things that it says in those verses but the only way that we get have there, to stand on. The only way we get there is by putting God number one. Right. And, and man, if you haven't put God number one in your life, we have to give you that opportunity. Yeah. Um, putting God number one in your life is the first step of planting those roots. It's literally like you're a seed and you're getting right. put in the ground. Um, if, if you haven't, man, given Jesus your all, your roots are nowhere. As soon as a wind blows, yeah. you're going to fall over. Yeah. Um, and so today, like, we want to give you that opportunity. Um, so wherever you're at, bow your head and close your eyes. And, and we'd like to lead you in, in prayer in, in, in this relationship with God. So let's pray. Jesus, Jesus, we love you. We love you. God, we're ready. God, we're ready. To put our trust in you. To put our trust in you. Thank you. Thank you. For dying on the cross. For dying on the cross. I give you my everything. I give you my everything. And I choose you. And I choose you. In your name. Man, if you made that choice today, that's the best choice you could ever make. Make sure to DM us. We'll, we'll send you a gift um, or, or just simply message us. We want to know if you made God number one in your right. life. And we want to be able to celebrate that with you because that's the first step in being rooted in Christ yeah. and being able to withstand situations that are hard and things that are maybe a struggle. That's the first part of it. And there are some of you that are watching and you know, you've know you got roots down, but that doesn't mean that everything is easy right now. That means that there are still times that you're feeling pressed on every side and you're feeling like right now I'm like <laughs> about to break. But you know what? God promised in 2 Corinthians 4, 8, and 9. He is not going to abandon you. Yeah. You are not going to be destroyed by this. So we just want to pray encouragement with each one of you before we leave today. Yeah. Just so that, you know, we're all in God's family. And He is going to bring us through this situation. God is in control. And, you know, there are things that we need to learn in this hard, tough season. Um that we may only have the opportunity to learn right now in this moment. Yeah. And so we need to seize those opportunities and figure out what, what is this that God's wanting me to learn from this. So Before we pray, we talked about a tree inching and inching and inching. One of the best ways to start your relationship that's going to start inching yourself and getting those roots down deep is simply the 15-minute the challenge. I know we talk about it every week, but that's one of the greatest yeah. tools you could ever use. Five minutes in prayer, five minutes in worship, and five minutes in your word. Use the U version app, use the actual Bible, like paper Bible, whatever it may be. Try to do those 15 minutes every single morning to start your morning off. Yep. Praying in the South Fork. All right, Jesus, we thank you so much for our time together, God. We just pray that right now, whatever situation we're in, God, we know that some of us feel pressed beyond belief right now. We feel like we are being crushed in this situation and the stress and the changes, God, but we know that you are in control, God, and we're going to rest in that and we're going to trust you with this situation. God, help us to really dig into your word, God, and help us to deepen our roots in this situation instead of crumbling under the pressure. We thank you so much for your faithfulness and for your love in your name. Amen. We'll see you next week, we'll guys. We'll see you next week, guys.